Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Klagemauer TV. News from all over the world. Who doesn't know him? Eli Wiesel, prisoner number A7713, probably the best known survivor of the concentration camps, so to say the living consciousness of the Holocaust. Since 1958, more than 10 million copies of his book Night have been sold and in 1986 he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. All over the world he is honorary doctor at many universities and he is decorated with many awards such as the American Golden Honor Medal of the Congress or the Medal of Freedom, the highest civil decoration in the USA. The avowed Zionist is heaped with honor and glory since he as a survivor of the concentration camp is fighting against intolerance, injustice and the oblivion of the Holocaust. But as Jean Robin points out, there is a sore point in his story. According to documents from the Auschwitz-Birkenau Museum, published in 2012, the number A7713 was not assigned to Eli Wiesel, but to Lazar Wiesel. He was 15 years older than Eli Wiesel and a friend of concentration camp prisoner Nikolaus Gruner, who can remember Lazar very well. So Eli Wiesel wrote books and gave reports about the suffering in the concentration camp where he had apparently never been, according to these documents. Is this the reason why some pictures show that there is no prisoner number tattoo on his left forearm, which would be a usual mark of former prisoners of concentration camps? What do Jews like Eli Wiesel or Otto Utgenant refer to in SNG number 513 intend with their apparently forged reports? But Nikolaus Grün and Eli Wiesel are both still alive. Now one should arrange an open TV debate with both of them in order to allow the millions of concerned people to finally hear their voice and counter voice. Thank you for watching Klagemauer TV. Keep in touch, the story is not finished.